A collection of photographs taken by Lucy Maud Montgomery will now be on permanent display at one of her homes in Ontario. The photos are from a popular exhibit in Peterborough earlier this year. The Spark Photo Festival featured 80 framed photographs selected from more than a thousand housed at the University of Guelph. The photographs in the festival are copies of the originals which remain at the university. Now the Lucy Maud Montgomery Society of Ontario has purchased about a third of the framed photos and will be putting them on display at an historic site honoring the island writer in Leaksdale. That's where Montgomery lived with her husband, Presbyterian minister Ewan MacDonald. It's also where she wrote 11 of her 22 novels. Now you may remember earlier this year when we talked about a bronze sculpture of Montgomery that had just been commissioned by the group that runs the site. Island Morning's Nancy Russell caught up with Melanie Whitfield of the Lucy Maud Montgomery Society of Ontario to find out more about these famous photos. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Nancy. You had a chance to see the photo exhibit in Peterborough. What was that like for you to see the collection of Lucy Maud Montgomery's photos? It was just wonderful and awesome simply because as part of the Lucy Maud Montgomery Society, we of course were aware that she had a large collection of photos, but I had never seen them such a remarkable size before and framed so nicely and arranged in chronological order of her life. And it was just like taking a walk with her through her lifetime. And it was just a wonderful experience. Well, I know that there are more than a thousand of her photos at Guelph University. How much access has your society had to seeing those photos over the years? We have had wonderful access. They have allowed us to come whenever we have needed to, to look at the photos for research projects that we were doing and what we needed for our site. We've also been allowed to make copies of photos that we need also for the man. So um, tourists that are coming in can do a comparison of her photo and the actual spot in the manse. And so it's, it's been a wonderful relationship. How many people who were coming to the exhibit would have known how prolific she was as a photographer? I would think that not many people would know that she was a photographer because even when they visit our site, they are um, truly amazed to know that she was a photographer and that we have such a good record, a pictorial record of her life in Leesdale. Why was your group interested in purchasing some of the photos after the exhibit was over? Because we had such a good partnership with the Spark Festival Committee, and we had brought our one-woman show mod of Lee Scale to the finale gala for the Spark Photo Festival. They were kind enough actually to donate and give us five of those framed photos then as a thank you for the partnership. And so then, of course, we uh, later asked them, well, what are you doing with the rest of the photos? And then they said, "Um, well, they are available or we're going to have a gala where we're going to figure out a way to sell them. And so um, we did ask permission to come and look at them again with the idea of purchasing some for our site. How hard was it to narrow down the ones that you wanted for the site? (laughs) We picked all of the Leesdale pictures, so that part was not hard because we knew we wanted that for our site. But then we picked 15, 14 or 15 others of general interest. And so I would say like pictures of Montgomery when she was younger and particular places that she had been and pictures of Ewan that were maybe before our time or after our time and when they were older. Uh, they were definitely mod centered but I would say this find 15 others from that collection was the, was the harder part. Any photos from her years on PEI? We do have a few, and especially there are some actually tinted colored ones from the end of her photography period, which we picked because she would have had scenes of PEI in, her, in the manse at Leesdale as well. So we did pick some of those. What happens to the rest of the photos? The rest of the photos are going to be made available through a gala event that the Spark Photo Festival is having on October the 30th, where you will be allowed to buy a ticket for $125, and that'll include everything going on at the gala. And that'll give you a chance to pick one of the remaining photos. So all the people who are um, going to the gala will put their name in a hat, so to speak, and as your number is drawn, you get to choose from the pictures that are left. Are any of your members going to that gala? Well, we hope so. We hope a couple of us will go and we'll get a couple more. 
what will having these photos add to your historic site, do you think? Just to make people aware of what a great photographer she was. And also, in its own way, it also now tells a story of her life in Leesdale through photographs, which we've not had before, and especially of of framed in, in such high quality. So it'll also be another way that we can tell the story. We have our one-woman show mod of Leesdale, which tells the story of her life in Leesdale. We, of course, have the historic site with tours where you can find out about her life. But now we will have the framed photos as a pictorial um, way to find out more about the life of Lucy Maud Montgomery. And how much did the photos cost your group? The photos cost our group, for the most part, $100 a piece, although we were able to get um, some of that second group that I mentioned before for less money. So we paid $2,500 for our 29 photos purchased. Melanie, we talked to your group earlier this year when you were about to unveil the new bronze statue of Lucy Maud Montgomery sitting in the garden on a picnic bench. What kind of response have you had since the statue has been unveiled? We have had a wonderful response. I live very near the site, so every time I drive by it, which could be four or five times a day, it gives me these wonderful shivers. Just to see her, she's gazing away from the road and out towards the Leesdale landscape and into the garden. It's a wonderful feeling. We have had all kinds of people coming specifically to see the statue. And then, of course, she's a wonderful draw because it draws them then Oh, what else do you have here? Oh, now we can learn about the life of Lucy Maud Montgomery. And we've had people from all over um, America and Canada coming to see the statue. And then, of course, the benefit to us is that they want to learn more and they come into our site. Melanie, thank you very much for your time today. Oh, thank you. We're always very glad to spread the word about Lucy Maud Montgomery and Leestale. Thank you very much, Nancy. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Melanie Whitfield is with the Lucy Maud Montgomery Society of Ontario, speaking with Island Morning's Nancy Russell.